Mitchell, why the heck am I here? I'm not an actor, I'm a chef. You're also the face of our restaurant. It's your duty to show that face to the world. Stop that. May I go back to the restaurant? Stop whining. What? Shut it, Tyson, that's enough. You're getting on my nerves. Let me cook him for you, Korean style. Mm-hmm. Then my wife will surely cook the both of us Korean style. Right, suck your stomach Please come and with me, we're about to start. Let's go, Go quickly. on, don't worry, I'm right here. You've got this, son. Do your best. Good luck. Good morning, guys. We're here again on your favorite cooking show, Tasty Morning. Let's welcome today's participants. Claude Monet's head chef, Victor Barinov, and the head chef of Arco Baleno, the charming Miss Helena Sokolova. Hi, good morning. All right, let's get started. Today, I'm going to prepare a... a lamb gigou which will be garnished with boiled French beans. This is a dish that is better prepared by male chefs, only because men always... Oh, wow! Look at him taking the wind out of her sails! Well, for some inexplicable reason, I try to do it breadthwise. In fact, a woman can't be a good chef by definition. A woman in the kitchen's just a maid. I beg to disagree. Do you honestly believe that a female... <laughs> I wouldn't hire a maid in my kitchen. Oh. They love blabbering too much. Oh, is that so? Huh? The fact is, you're a misogynist. Am I now? Yes. I actually treat women well. I love women very much. Unless they happen to be chefs. Women are weak creatures, you know. Hmm. You, for example, wouldn't survive a day in my kitchen. Why don't we make a bet, then? If I survive a whole day in your kitchen, then you'll take me to dinner. We can start right now. This is such a totally unexpected turn of events. Victor, will you take the bet? Victor, we're on live television. Sure, I'll take it. Dear viewers, a one-of-a-kind event has just taken place right before your very eyes. What? We're gonna be bossed around by this broad today? No way. I'm taking the day off, guys. Too late. <laughs> Today's my day off. Damn it. My Nira, could you wash my jeans? Sure, that'll cost you $15. I'm just kidding. Why don't you throw them into the washing machine? That'll be faster. Mm -hmm. Just be careful, Max. The electric socket is broken. Got it. That's right. So it was your idea to get her and me together? Will you stop complaining? That was great, your competitors in real life and now on screen. I want to make you angry because you've gotten kind of lethargic. You've succeeded, I'm angry. Great show, congratulations. Well, thank you. All right, Tyson, I'd like you to meet Victoria. She's got nice legs. Victoria, this is Tyson. He's ugly inside out, that's for sure. Anyway, I'll pick him up in the evening. I'm not very good with dogs. Trust me, you'll like Tyson. Victoria, if anything bad should happen to Tyson, or if he runs away, I might not survive it. Go on. Go, 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 go. Victor, go to the kitchen now and organize your scoundrels so that you won't embarrass me. I want everything to go smoothly, okay? May I go now? Yes, you may. Thank you. Right. Go get me something to drink. Look who's here. Hello, Helen. Hello there. Welcome. You're a great addition to our kitchen. Thanks, Mitchell. Where can I get changed? Right, where to change. Let's go over there. I'll show you. Hmm. Chef, that was cool. Well done. We will eat her alive, Chef. Shut off this fountain of unhinged celebration. Arthur, that's way overdone. Now get back to work. Hey, Leo, are you aware you've been making this bean cassoulet for an hour? Did you fall asleep? Chef, I couldn't make it. You can't make it faster because you were watching TV instead of working. You're invalids. Oh, attention, kitchen. This is Helena. Helena. Right, Miss Helena. Today she'll be, well, you've heard of yourselves, haven't you? You got it? Yes, yes chef. chef. We chef. Order. Attention, everybody. One veal with truffle sauce, one cod amandine, one shrimp and rocket salad, and one blancmange. Is everything clear? Yes, chef. All right, I'll ask again. Guys, is the order clear? Is it clear? Yes, yes chef. chef! 
Well, I'm sure you'll manage, Miss Helena. I'm going for a walk. All right, get back to work, everyone. Why are you dressed like that? Where's your uniform? It's my day off. And my jeans are in the washer. Max, is this a laundromat? Turn that off now. Hey, hey, should I go wash my clothes at your house? Enough. Go away. Hey, careful. You just deprived me of my breakfast. Tyson, no. Oh, my goodness. The hot dog is done for. Tyson. Tyson! You moron! You just murdered the dog! That wasn't my fault. You're the one taking care of it. I wasn't the one eating the hot you dog. You really should be blaming the hot dog oh for killing gosh. its brother. Do you know whose dog this is? Oh, no, what am I going to tell Mitchell I'm done for? you got to think of something. We need to hide the body first. Don't you watch any crime movies? Then you will tell Mitchell that his dog ran away. I can't open this thing. What a piece of Let me out to it. <laughs> Careful. Uh, You're putting it in there? They'll find it. Leave it there for now. I'll get rid of it later. Wait, no. Wait, give it to just me. Just calm down. Give it to me. Stop it. Give Victoria, it come on. Me. Calm down. Wait, Stop please it. Please go Stop away. It. Step aside. Just let me. <sighs> what are you two doing in here? Nothing. Just talking, that's all. That's right. Conversations go better with no pants on. <laughs> to cook in France? Got nothing better to do? You know, the only place where they cook meat like that is at Maître Bacou's. Maybe you just have a natural talent. Louis, what are you working on? Les affaires ne vous regardez pas. Me no understand English, pardon. A familiar accent. Provence? Am I right? Oui, that's right. I love Provence, especially Saint Paul de Vence. Oh la la. Mm -hmm. My family lives there. Oh, it's really beautiful there. And the Colombe d'Or has such amazing desserts. Oh, madame. Yeah. How unexpected. Feels like I was back home for a moment. Mademoiselle. Oh, pardon, mademoiselle. Okay, let's hide it here. We'll leave it here until the evening. After everyone leaves, we'll throw it out. Okay. Uh, coriander. It's pungent so it can mask the smell if needed. That's fine, let's go. Are you crazy? What? Why don't you put a sign that says, here lies the dog? Where then? Oh my God. Okay, pull this. And this. All right, all right. Come on, help me! Look, stop telling me what to do, all right? Come on! Take this. That one, too. It's a potatoes. All right, all right. Stick it in there. Okay, I'm sticking it in. It's in. Stick it in deeper. Yeah, I'm sticking it in. What are you two doing in here? Us? Um... I'm just... I'm looking for tablecloths. Ah, tablecloths in the vegetable storage. Got it. Anywhere. And how come you're not at your workstation, rookie? Chef, it's my day off. I see. Stop playing hide the sausage in here. This is not a motel. Oh, jeez. Theodore, would you please prepare two more servings of shrimp? Because you're so good at it. Of course, sure. What a doormat. You got won over by a little bit of praise. Do you believe that a head chef should shout at his subordinates? Well, I... Why shouldn't I be able to compliment you if you've got the cleanest workplace in the kitchen? I believe you're highly professional and deserve to be treated with respect. Where's my bean cassoulet? How long must I wait? If I don't get a tip today, I'm holding you all responsible. Got it? <laughs> what? All right, easy. Just take a deep breath. Inhale. Exhale. That's it. Okay, now speak. 
in, in 15 minutes' time. Now, there you go. The guests have already been waiting for 40 minutes. Give that to me. Yes, that's correct. The prep time's over an hour. If it weren't for Leo, they'd be waiting another half hour. Sadie, dear, ask them to wait a bit longer. Don't worry, you're doing great, Leo. Everything's fine, okay? New order, guys. Parisian-style quail and oysters with mushrooms and white sauce. Is that clear? We yes, chef! Yes, hello, Mitchell. Tyson! He's fine, don't worry. Yeah, he's running around. <coughs> you out of your mind. He's very happy and playful. Yeah, and very dead. Hey, Mitchell, I was wondering if you know what breed your dog is. I just fell in love with him, you know? He's so cute. I want to get one, just like Tyson. What's that? Ah, a Shih Tzu. Shih Tzu. Shih Tzu. Uh, Mitchell, there's no rush. Tyson and I are getting along just great. Yes, yes, thank you so much. I mean, see you later. <sighs> We're going to need to buy a new dog. But where? How'd you like our new head chef with boobies? <laughs> I don't know, she's kind of boring. A little bit, I guess. But she's reasonable. Yeah, unlike the other one. You invalid! Amateurs! Idiots! Idiots, I'll destroy you! I'll crush you! Oh, Chef, we're just, um... Well, screw you both. What do you think? I have no idea. We're dead. Let's go back in. Prostitutes. <laughs> You're the only one I have now, Archibald. You're the only loyal and trustworthy person. Organism left. Here's to you. The rest of them are scum. So tell me, have you had a dog before? Yes. No. Well, I used to. I had three, oh. but Victoria didn't. <laughs> oh, I see. Uh, listen, there's in fact one important condition. I'm very worried about Hector's well-being. And that's the reason why I only want to give him to a married couple. Hmm. That's just perfect. Victoria and I are getting married next month. Hmm. Right, my love? Uh, would you excuse me for a moment? I'll just fill up the kettle. Hold on. I'm trying to help us out here. Can't you just play along? I'm sorry, okay? I can't just lie straight to people's faces. You'll have to do it if you want this dog. <sighs> Kiss me now. Why would I? Have you... <clears throat> <clears throat> I brought some more tea. Oh, I'm sorry. <gasps> Thank you, ma'am. Excuse me. I think we'll be going now. Yes, we should go. Well, Hector, I guess I finally found a lovely new home for you to live in. <laughs> Here you go. Theodore, Arthur, where are you going? Uh, Chef, um, we're going for a smoke. We'll be back real quick. Are you out of your minds? Can't you see how many orders we've got? Well, none of them is a meat dish. Then switch to poultry. Come on, look how many orders we've got for quail. Theodore, no more smoke breaks. Louis, you can use your phone after work hours. Get back to your station. I need to make a call. It's a matter of life and death. I need you to get back to your station. That's it. No questions. Okay, we've run out of arugula. Leo, please go to the storage or wherever you keep the arugula and bring it to me. Why should I bring you the arugula? I, I mean, the, the fact is, I'm the sous chef. The fact is, I'm the head chef. So let me decide who will go and get me the arugula.
Just look at her. Does she think I'm her errand boy? Where is that blasted arugula? Ugh. This is how it starts. First, I'm getting arugula. And pretty soon, she's going to make me wash the dishes. Thanks a lot. for table 14. How soon till it's ready? Too consomme. My guests have finished their bread already. When will the guilt head Seabring be ready? Look, Theodore, this slip is from 50 minutes ago. Well, what can I do? Can't you see how many orders I've got? Is there, like, a convention for fishermen today? Will you please calm down, Theodore? Keep your cool. What's happening? What's that stench? Oh, damn. The quails are all burnt. I see that. serving this to our guests. It doesn't look like a $50 dish you can buy at our restaurant. In fact, it looks like it's been eaten. Nobody has been eating it. No? Then you better make sure it looks that way. Fix it. I want you to solve this problem, Louis. There. Done. Take that away. Where's the sous chef? Where is that damn arugula? What the heck is going on here? Oh my, the girl has gone completely mental. She's having a fit. Well, how much is she offering? Why so little? You tell her we don't work for that price. Hold on, let me call you back. And here's Tyson. Oh. Mm-hmm. Victoria. Yes? Hang on. What's wrong? I see you didn't get what I was trying to say. I was hoping that he'd get lost, or he'd croak. <laughs> hey! Victoria. Hey. What's that? <laughs> oh, this is my dog, Mitchell. I bought him earlier today. I just loved your Tyson so much that I couldn't resist buying myself a cute puppy like yours. <laughs> uh. Wait a minute, it seems to me that this one is yours, <laughs> and this one's mine. I keep confusing them. <laughs> hey there, cutie. Victoria. Yes? What's your dog's name? My dog's name? That's right. It's Max. <laughs> mm. What's his breed? Uh, sushi? Oh, uh, I mean, Shih Tzu. <laughs> Same as yours. <laughs> mm. While I'm off. <laughs> Hello there, you scoundrel. Oh, Anira. Want a drink? Oh, my, I'm still working, you know. East of Arizona, New Orleans. How did you find me here? Well, it's not my first year working for you. My dear, you really need to go back. You're talking like my three former mothers-in-law. I'm serious, Chef. It's hard in there without you. Oh. They're failing miserably. If you don't return straight away soon, that chef girl will totally go bananas. Is that so? When have I ever lied to you, chef? Want a drink? Come on, what are you thinking? I'm working, you know. that you can't deliver any orders on time. Come on, why are you so useless? What the hell is going on with Excuse you all? Excuse me, Eleanor. What happened to you? W well, you know. I see. Yes. Theodore, go have a smoke. You have three minutes. Thank you, Chef. You have to give him a smoke break every hour and a half. Arthur. Chef. Back to cooking me. Leo, you switch with Arthur. He's not good at cooking poultry. It's not clear to me why, but it never leads to good results. Louis, what's wrong? Is John screwing with your head again? We oui, chef. Mm. Dealing with him is simple. He just needs a couple of minutes on the phone, and he'll be fine. Merci, chef. Welcome. And why is this one underperforming? Well, this one can never get anything right. Quasar, you are fired. Uh, 
As you've seen, this proves my point. Pardon me, Chef? I'm just saying, it turned out that I was right. As usual, I'm not surprised. And I won a vet. Oh, don't be ridiculous. I worked the whole day in your kitchen and everything was fine in the beginning. But then it was like someone flipped a switch. It's like everyone went mad. It's like you have invalids and not chefs. That's right. But there are my invalids, and I'm the only one who's allowed to call them that. And besides, isn't that the job of a head chef? To turn a bunch of cooks, each with their shortcomings, into a professional high-class team? Huh? Chef. Remember, you owe me dinner. People absolutely hate making mistakes, but they still make them all the time. Some people falsely believe they can control everything. While others are convinced that it's impossible for them to have relationships without realizing that they've already started building one. And I've been searching in the night, and I've been searching in the rain. I tried to find them, but they disappeared. They walked away, they dressed in black, they left my side, and all I say is that I wasted And some wrongly think that the whole world is completely turned against them. that things gone past are never to be found again. No, never, never again. I had nine lives, but lost all the time. We can't help but make mistakes. They're a part of our lives. And most importantly, they're able to help us find the right path. Victoria, I get you're into me. I'm pregnant, and it's yours. What are you doing? Are you enjoying this? I don't enjoy it when a dude breathes into my ear. Louis, Max will be your partner for today. Being whole carrot top? Will you shut it, you tiny bird brain? Corey! Don't Corey me, and stop staring or your eyeballs will roll out. Corey, stop it. You two were finer. What? Talk to her? Are you kidding me? Why would I ever waste my time talking to this beady-eyed hobbit? Want to watch a movie? <laughs> You're such an idiot. Those invalids! No! Bunch of morons! All right, let's go. See you tonight, then? <laughs> Those scumbags! Bastards! How did you report? How did you report? Answer me! You mean nothing to me, got it? Will you marry me, Victoria?